Tomba TV. And you got Tomba TV here. Tomba TV's in the house. All right. Aloha, guys. Tintin Pule with Tomba TV. I am on a mission to go check out K.A. Beach. I haven't seen K.A. Beach in, since they put this boardwalk in. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to go for a little stroll and check it out, see what it's like. It's beautiful out here. So this is my family's, uh, my family owns this area right here. Uh, this is um, Hyena, Kua'a, Hyena. My family, all, all my family, the Lindsay's, and they all, ev everyone owns their own tarot patch here. Or they, they have a tarot patch here that they grow their taro at. So each one of these patches is owned by different, different um, households. And this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful out here. Taro, wealthy. Yeah, back when I was growing up here, we um, used to come back here fishing a lot. Oh, my, one of my uncles, a great uncle, my cousin Titus Kanehe's grandfather, um, used to bring us out here net fishing. Five o'clock in the morning, he'd pick us up in his little Datsun truck. Me and my brothers and a couple of my cousins and one of my uncles. And we would come out here and go net fishing. Five in the morning, the water was freezing cold. I mean, not freezing, but to us, it was cold. We would hit every spot and get enough fish to give all the families that we pass, all the families in their houses, in the houses that we pass on the way back to home, Wainiha. So that was a lot, you know, a lot of fish, a lot of fun memories. And uh, yeah, times like that, you don't, can't forget. Anyways, we're close to the beach. Let's check it out. Here we are, we finally made it. It's a little walk on the boardwalk, but we made it and here we are. So beautiful out here. One of my favorite places to come growing up to hang out in the evenings because this is where all the girls would be. So, when I was going through high school, we used to, my childhood buddies from my neighborhood, Jesse Olanalan and, and Kaili Olanalan, Zion Harada, my cousin Brandon Anakalea, we would hike down to Hanakapiai over at night with dogs. We'd each be holding four dogs each, and we'd go hunting down at Hanakapiai and uh, yeah we'd hike down there at night catch pigs and hike them out the next morning and on the trail man I've so many times that I've been left behind because I'm the bigger kid the bigger guy I'm left behind on the trail and I've had like spirits like one time I uh Oh, it's one time we were camping in Hanukapiai, camped overnight. 
we got to the camp and of course we brought a bottle of whiskey and I drank a bunch and you know when we fell asleep that night I got held down in my sleep I don't know if any of you ever got held down in your sleep by a spirit or some kind of entity um, but I got held down and I couldn't breathe and couldn't move it was a scary feeling uh, I remember that I, I didn't go back in a Hanukkah I for for a few months after that but there's also been times where I've been like walking on the trail and something touched my ear where there's no branches or anything like somebody flicked my ear and that kind of tripped me out I just love to be here on Kauai and love the life that I lived here and I just want to share it with all you guys we're going to start it out by being peaceful and then ramp it up to some more uh, action kind of stuff and get some of my friends surfing and doing stuff like that and dirt biking but I just wanted to show you guys where I come from where my roots come from and this is K.A. Beach Hyena end of the road breeze of clean fresh air and just get away from everyone because this is where it's at, right here. All right.